I remember that when I was young. I was reading a book by writer Dale Carnegie, where it says that you need to inhabit the instant. Live the moment and enjoy the moment. The mind is not in the past or in the future, but in that moment where we happen to be. I have noticed in life that if you live in the moment, the difficulties of life, the hardships, do not strain you as much. And that has helped me, that I can manage and survive the difficult situations in life. I am of Kurdish origin, Iranian. I came to Finland from Iran. I was politically active in my home country. I wrote articles about societal matters, and I was even in a political party, the kind of party that was forbidden. I was secretly collaborating with them, and that's why we had to escape from Iran to Turkey. Living in Turkey for four years was so hard. Our life was extremely difficult, and luckily we got residence permit to Finland. We are a small family. We are a small family. I have a wife and two wonderful sons. We've lived in Finland for about 15 years. When I was a child, I fell into a tandoori oven. An old style oven that is placed on the ground where bread and food are made. There was hot water in there when I fell. Since there was a civil war ongoing then, I couldn't be taken to a hospital in the city. I was in a small village and I got to treatment too late. My hands were in bad shape. They've been operated six times in Iran and six times in Finland. I still have difficulties. But I manage with them. I enjoy the entire daily life. Even driving a car is an enjoyment for me. My first job in Finland was driving a bus for the Porvo bus company. The nice thing about that job was meeting new people. And I still sometimes miss that work. But after the last surgery, I got such injuries that I had to go on disability pension. When I had to retire, I slowly noticed that I don't enjoy life anymore. I don't inhabit the present anymore. I was ashamed when I woke up at noon and went out. I was ashamed to greet my neighbours. It was a feeling of shame that why am I here in the middle of the day, not working? I noticed that I didn't have such good self-esteem as I had before when I was working. And I felt like I don't get the respect in my family anymore either. That is, I felt that I was not needed. And sometimes dark thoughts came to my mind that why, why do I live? That was the worst time for me in Finland. For three years, I was so depressed all the time. I didn't enjoy life. 
I noticed that life was just sleeping and eating that it won't become anything. I needed to get back to normal life and when I got back to work, there was a big celebration for me. I'm an interpreter for social and public services and a translator. My task is to translate what migrants tell the authorities and what authorities tell the migrants. Only when I was 40, I noticed that I'm good at conveying other people's feelings. When I help people to talk about their own feelings and I convey their message very well, then I feel that I have succeeded and I actually enjoy that someone has benefited from my profession. That is a good feeling that I notice that I'm needed. I feel that I am a member of this society. It is not easy to recover from depression, but I got medication, I got help, conversational help. And the fact that I noticed myself that something was wrong with me, that helped too. I spoke with my wife and she also has helped me. And living in the moment has helped me as well. A few years ago, I bought this Iranian instrument. Now, every time I come home from work, I noticed that I had a tough day. I go and play music. And if my wife is at home, and I play, I've also noticed that she enjoys it. When I play music, I focus on it totally. And I've also noticed that I can relive my feelings using notes, music, that if I want to cry or return to my childhood, or when I miss my mother and home country a lot, these notes give me relief. Music has brought tranquility back into my life. Two weeks ago, I woke up in the middle of the night. I had a nightmare. I couldn't sleep. At four o'clock I noticed that I couldn't get back to sleep. I made tea and went to the shower and thought of writing something. I wrote and after that I noticed that writing about the past was a relief. 
Mulla oli I was feeling so good, olo, peaceful, ja, and ja, my vapaa, mind was relieved. Mieli, että that I thought of continuing this. Terapia, this is good therapy and it helps when I face my own life story and bring it onto paper. Tuon paperille. Kun mä kirjoitan, when mä I write, I return to the past. Sometimes I enjoy and sometimes I suffer, but... Mutta After that, sen, sen jälkeen, when I read the story myself, I enjoy that. Sitä, että mulla I had this hard life and now I have so many accomplishments. When I sometimes get bad memories from the past, I return to present world and tell myself that everything is fine. I notice that I'm safe and the family is safe. I live in the kind of country in which, luckily, compared to other countries, there are no conflicts. Whenever my father calls me and says, that how are you doing? Do you have any problems or worries? I say that, Dad, in this country everything is fine. So much good that bad thoughts have no room in my mind. I'm happy about this life. I'm disabled in my hands, but I can play music with these hands, I can do calligraphy with these hands, I, I can write. I have so much good in my life, that why wouldn't I be grateful? And I've noticed that if I live in the moment and enjoy the moment, then life is beautiful.